Hello, this video will walk you through the steps to perform an automatic two-point pH calibration using the Stratasivo transmitter from Kinnick with a MemoSense pH sensor. The main benefit of using MemoSense digital sensors is that the calibration data is stored in the sensor head and not in the transmitter. This allows us to save time by pre-calibrating our sensors and storing them on the shelf. We can now perform our calibrations offline in a controlled environment right here in our workshop. These same steps, however, can be utilized when performing a calibration in the field. To perform a calibration, you will need a Stratus Evo transmitter that has been powered up with a MemoSense cable connected, a MemoSense pH sensor, at least two buffers and clean containers to pour them into, cleaning water, and finally, a clean cloth to dry the sensor. Let's begin by connecting our MemoSense pH sensor, pressing the menu button, and then toggling right to the calibration screen. Here you will see our three options for calibrating the sensor. Cal pH, PCAL or process calibration, and finally Cal RTD or calibration of the internal temperature detector. We will select Cal pH to begin the process. Since we're performing an automatic calibration, it's very important that the proper buffer sets are selected when configuring the transmitter. Automatic calibration ensures that the buffer sets are temperature compensated and they're automatically recognized during the process. If you're unfamiliar on where to make the selection of the proper buffer set, please be sure to view our setup and configuration video on the Stratus Evo. Once the calibration process begins, you can see that our transmitter screen is turned yellow and the hold icon is indicating that our output to our control room is being held. First, we'll rinse our sensor with distilled water and dab dry with a clean cloth. I'm using Kinect Calimat buffers with integrated dosing cup for single dose usage. If you're not using Kinect Calimat buffers, be sure to put your buffers in separate clean containers to prevent cross-contamination and for a more accurate calibration. It's recommended to use fresh buffer solution for each calibration. Let's place our sensor in the first buffer solution and stir lightly. We want to ensure that the entire pH measuring bulb, along with the sensor's junction, are fully immersed in the buffer. We want to ensure that both the pH value and the temperature value at the bottom of the screen have stabilized. In automatic calibration mode, the transmitter will display the recognized buffer value as well as the millivolt value. Once completed in the first buffer solution, the zero point of our sensor is displayed and the Stratus Evo now prompts us to move to the second step in the calibration process. We'll press enter to continue. Next, we should again rinse our sensor with distilled water and dab dry. Place the sensor in the second buffer solution, stir lightly, and again ensure that the bulb and the junction are completely immersed. Just like in our first buffer solution, it's important to let both the pH and temperature value stabilize. We'll then press enter. Again, the buffer value is automatically recognized and our millivolt value is also displayed. Once the process is completed in our second buffer solution, you'll see that the Stratus Evo then provides the specific information of our calibration. First, we have our slope displayed in percentage. Next, our zero point displayed in millivolts. And finally, a smiley face indicating a successful calibration. Press enter and the Stratus Evo will now give us the opportunity to repeat our calibration process or write the calibration to our sensor by selecting measure. Pressing enter on measure also finalizes the calibration process and returns us to the main measurement screen. We're now ready to go online with our measurement or store our calibrated sensor on the shelf for future use in the field. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos on the Stratus Evo transmitter.